Switch, dry temperature, dry temperature, switch. Right. Dry temperature, switch. You have two positions, rise and end. Then you're gonna have a generator oil temperature indicator with rise and end. Mm -hmm. When you put the switch in, in, what did you check? What do you guys are checking? Turn the, the, oil the oil temperature Coming going in, in right. to the CSD, right? And then you're gonna check that on the bottom of the generator drive oil temperature gauge. In the rise, what did you check in? The difference between the in and the out. That's why over here it says, uh, let me see, well, no, it doesn't, it doesn't give you a difference. Right, yeah. No, price. Well, price, yeah. So you're checking the difference between the oil temperature coming in and going out. No. Okay. On the right. So then you're going to check it in the, in the top. See? The top set 0 to 30. The bottom goes all, all the way to 160. Okay. Right. The difference between the oil temperature coming in and out of the CSD is going to tell you how hard the generator is yeah, working. Work. Yeah. On the end, only check the temperature of the oil going into the CSD. Okay. So every time you have any of these needles in any of the two band, rise or end, then you have to disconnect. Normally, that's what the procedure says, eh? mm -hmm. just disconnect. But if you have to disconnect it on the run-up, copy, when you guys do the run-up, sometimes the rep ask you, disconnect the CSD. I get that a lot. Go to the generator. The so they just want to make sure Everything is working properly. Working properly and yeah. then you go and, and connect it again. Cierto, Capitan, como tu hiciste, like you just did. The disconnect, right? And then, and then you put it. Pull it down. The then uh, you connect it back again. Reconnect it. Reconnect them again. In the CSD. And then you run it again and verify that everything is connected. Everything is back again, yeah. yeah. So a lot of these reps, they, they ask you, you know,